So, Path to Exile has been a long time staple of the format, yet now decks like Control, which once ran it as a 4 of, no longer play the card. And I am sure many of you know some of the reasons Path to Exile doesn't show as much prominence, yet I would like to share my own opinions on why the card's play rate continues to decline. So, Path to Exile was originally printed in Conflux, meaning it has been in the format since its creation back in 2011. Because the card was around for so long, it was the ideal removal spell for almost every white deck from Control to Death and Taxes to Burn. A one-mana spell capable of permanently exiling a card was really good, so good that even with the drawback of giving your opponent a land, it was still really playable. Now, this card remained one of the most played removal spells for a little over 10 years, yet it would be in June of 2021 when that changed. That was when Modern Horizons 2 came out, and two notable cards completely transformed the space for white removal, those being Solitude and Prismatic Ending. So let's compare Prismatic Ending and Path to Exile, starting off with Path to Exile's pros. Path to Exile is instant speed, which is extremely relevant, and it is able to hit a creature with any CMC, and and it doesn't require you to play a certain amount of colors to make it good. Now, Prismatic Ending is really only good in two color decks, yet that downside isn't that big of a deal because the majority of the format is multicolored. Prismatic Ending really stands out for its ability to hit any non-land permanent, meaning early artifacts, enchantments, and planeswalkers can easily be hit. Another bonus of this card is that if you pay a little extra mana, it can get around Chalice of the Void. Now, the reason Prismatic Ending is really good that isn't as talked about is that modern is really mana efficient and most threats cost one or two mana to cast and it is extremely important to kill your opponent's turn one play which prismatic ending is great for since your opponent gets no benefit and their creature is gone forever and that is one of the biggest issues with path to exile mana efficiency is extremely important in the current format one extra land on your opponent's side could easily be more than the creature you killed now solitude is the definition of mana efficiency. If this card didn't have Evoke, it would almost certainly be a fringe card. While Solitude has the issue of only being free if you have another white card in hand and you are willing to two for one yourself, that type of downside is overlooked when you realize this is a late game threat that you could also use as a zero mana removal spell. It has the plus side of also just being an extremely abusable card when combined with something like Ephemerate. Yet this is just another really solid removal spell that meets the mana efficiency of the format that Path to Exile has to compete with. After these two cards were printed, Path to Exile saw considerably less play since it just really doesn't compare. Yet in Kamigawa Neon Dynasty, we had another option to run alongside or over Path to Exile. That is March of the Otherworldly Light. So there are some really good factors of this card. One is that it is instant speed, and you can also kill Urza Saga with it, and if you invest enough mana, you can kill anything with it. Yet even with these upsides, costing 2 mana to deal with a 1 mana card is rough, since if you want to kill a turn 1 Ragavan, for example, you have to 2 for 1 yourself. This means Prismatic Ending sees much more success, yet March is still a card to keep in mind when choosing your removal spells. Yet again in Dominar United, we received Leyline Binding, which does require many basic lands types out, but with the addition of Triumphs and Ikoria, it isn't that high of a bar to achieve, and it also has the advantage of being able to temporarily hit any non-land card. And one big aspect of the card is the flash speed. So in summary, all of these new cards compete with Path to Exile in the removal slot, and because they offer less important or no resources for your opponent, it pushes Path out of decklist. And with the win rate of all these new white removal spells in Modern, at one point I think Path to Exile will be completely unplayable. Now, it still sees play in the sideboard of Burn and Hammer Time. This is because both of those decks are extremely mana efficient and can get away with giving their opponent a land, and clickbait title aside, right now Path to Exile is not gone, but you have to admit the play rate is declining, and I don't think it will come back unless Modern is way more monocolored and mana efficiency is less important. Yet as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.